Okay, hi everyone. It's called a zero Gatorade for a reason, because it has zero sugar. Well, this is the first time I made a food video or food and drink video in about a month. You know, it makes me a bit nervous. It's something I always have to get over when I haven't made a video in a while. Uh, this is, I should have frosted this glass too. That would have been much nicer if I'd done that, you know. I've never tried this before. Of course, I know about regular Gatorade, and you do too, but this is a little bit different. I didn't even know they made zero sugar Gatorade until I happened to see this at the, on, on, at the grocery market. I think that's where I saw it. Well, let me put on my glasses. You know, it was inevitable. It had to happen. I hate glasses. Anyway, I got my RSV shot today. So the pharmacist said, uh, "Well, Mr. Trip, you should get you should get um, a bottle of." Um, Gatorade or something like that, something, some kind of liquid, you know, that has uh, electrolytes in it because after you get this shot, it is good to have some some extra energy, something you can drink. Okay, so I remembered I had this zero Gatorade, and this was the time to have it, and I'm rambling a bit. Let me tell you some. Oh, I must stuck my eye. I don't need that, do I? Tell you just a little bit about it. This is the glacier color. I like the. I don't like the orange color. It's sort of a, a bluish color. I like that. Zero sugar, thirst quencher, glacier freeze. Hey, maybe it's time for a little. Uh, I'll say I do the uh, the thumbnail thing later. But I will ask you to go ahead and if you will to subscribe and leave a comment. Have you tried this or what do you think about anything that I've said? Yeah, drop me a comment. Like the video if you will. Is that it? I think so. So the RSV shot is recommended for yeah, the different groups, I think babies is recommended for them, but I'm not sure, so don't, I'm not a, I'm not a public health expert. But it is recommended for people who are over 75 years old, and it's recommended for those who are 60 and over, if you have underlying medical conditions. Well, I'm nothing but underlying medical conditions, so I fall under that category. Might need the magnifying glass a little bit. This is a how much this is a twelve ounce no a twelve ounce serving and it does have a, a nice bit of sodium in it. It doesn't have any sugar. It says zero sugar and zero added, so zero sugar. This was actually made in where was this made? Oh, there's a 100 number that you can call also if you have any questions. Chicago, Illinois. And that's the address that's on it. I don't know if it was made there or not. And these cost about, I think it's just under $2. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Let me take my funky glasses off first. Don't need to shake it, just need to drink it. Pretty basic. Open the cap there. Oh, we're going to do the thumbnail thing. First, we have to pour some, don't we? Here. Maybe that's an ASMR sound that some of you might appreciate. Don't want to spill it. There. Okay, if 
funny social media uh, thumbnail, big smile, kind of scary. I'll put the top back on to lock up the flavor there. You know, they make those drinks like uh, some soft drinks like Coke that are zero, zero sugar. Coke Zero, which means to me um, zero taste. But I have, my, I think I tried it one time, maybe at McDonald's. I didn't want to get the, the Coke with the sugar. Remember, I'm a diabetic, right? As of last year, supposedly. It's just a little couple sips of it I took, and it was, um, it was uh, not real bad. Here we go. This is the Zero Sugar Gatorade. What's it, the flavor called? Glacier. Here, Gatorade. Glacier Freeze. Let's do it now. To your health. Okay. It does taste different from the regular Gatorade. I guess the regular Gatorade with the sugar tastes better, you know, because it has sugar. I guess you could put a teaspoon of sugar into this if you wanted to. But why would you do that? Because you can buy the other kind, the sugar Gatorade, right off the shelf. And of course, it defeats the whole purpose. So naturally, anything that has a bunch of sugar is going to taste better than something that doesn't have sugar to most people. There are some exceptions who I don't understand that don't like that don't like um, sweet foods and sweet drinks, you know. But I admire them. I wish that I had been such a person growing up, and probably you wish that you were too. If one day you end up having to take shots, I mean, having to get well. The when you have an insulin insulin shortage you have to get needle shots in your stomach i'm not to that point and i'm trying very hard to keep my sugar under control but i still have to stick a needle in my finger once in a while like every few days to test my sugar so it's um uh, it has kind of that our uh, gatorade smell if you know what i'm talking about It's kind of unique, I guess. It's sort of a, sort of a, to me, it's a sickeningly sweet smell. It doesn't smell that much different from the regular Gatorade. I think it's a nice substitute. I'm giving a two thumbs up on this. Two thumbs up for, for its function, for its purpose. That is, it doesn't have sugar. Considering that, it's pretty good. It's not that much different to me than regular Gatorade, even though it's been a while since I tried the regular Gatorade. Hmm. I think it'd be nicer if I put some ice in it. Of course, if you do that, then it kind of dilutes the taste when you put ice in anything. But, um, yeah, I'd recommend this for those who just have to have it. And that's all I wanted to do, just a simple little video, my first video in almost a month. And I hope you're all doing well and uh, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And I'll check you later.